Alright farmers, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got some new mods. So first up we've got an update. This is the Government Drain by Casa Farms. And the update in the change log says it's adjusted the prices much lower as some were way too high. Adjusted door animation to be faster and added Italian and Polish translation. And then we've also got an update to the self-made bell fork by FBX Modding. And that has changed the description. The description adjusted, multifunctional attacher added, store icon and mod icon changed. So that's your two updates for today. So the first mod we've got in front of us here is the Placeables Dairy Farm Package. This is by DMI 20mm Normandy, 4.32 megabot on the download. And you're going to find this in the construction menu and then under decorations. So if we go in there, decorations and then others. So we've got the first one there, the calf igloo, 50 to buy. Then we've got the second one, also a calf igloo, 50 to buy, with the framework at the front. Then we've got another calf igloo with the framework raised up. Then we've got a wheelbarrow, and then we've got a slurry mixer. So these are just decorations. They don't actually do anything. This is just to brighten up your farm a little bit if you've got some cows on the go. So if that's the sort of thing you're into, I mean, they look really nice don't get me wrong excellent 50 each drop them down in your farm very nice indeed right next up we've got the old fuel stations pack this is by Mephius 10.60 megabot on the download and you can find these in the construction menu and then under buildings and tools so we've got the first one there the double roofed one shall we say 12 grand and then the single roof one also 12 grand so obviously drop these down if you need to fill up your tractors or equipment i mean nice style to them old school old rusty out in the sticks looking sort of idea no that's all right that is yeah i like them obviously pull up to the icon and fill up excellent Right, next up we've got the Manure and Slurry Dealer Pack. This is by Puma145, 4.21 megabot on the download. And you're going to find these in a couple of different areas. So first up, if we go into the construction menu, and we'll go on to productions. If you go down to factories, and we'll scroll along like so. So this is the first ones. You've got the Manure Heap, and then the Liquid Manure Tank. This is where you can buy your manure and slurry from. Then if we go up to selling points, you'll have the same ones in there. This is where you can sell your manure. And then if we go up to buildings and into silos, you then scroll along. And we'll find it somewhere along here. No, I've gone the wrong way. So back the other way. Ah, oh, there we are. And the liquid manure tank, 20 grand to buy if you just want to store it. Now that's going to hold 2 million litres of slurry. That's a lot of liquid stuff. So, excellent. Obviously, you know, you want to get some manure on the go or slurry and you need to buy it. Very nice indeed. Obviously, you can have the selling option as well if you want to do that. Excellent. Right, next up we've got Wholesale. This is by Zoddledock. Sorry, I'll try that again. Zoddlezocked. I apologise if I've got that wrong. 1.99 megabyte on the download. And this is a placeable cell point. And this is excellent. Obviously it looks like the spinnery here on Elm Creek a little bit. That sort of vibe. But you can sell everything. And I do mean everything. If we go into the shop menu here... You got there on the right hand side wholesale and it has an option for everything. The only one that doesn't have a price on it is road salt. It comes out at zero but you can still sell it if you know what I mean. It will still take it off you put it that way. Now the best one that I thought was diesel. You can sell diesel to the wholesale point. Excellent. According to the website as well, it says contract work orders will also target this point for sale. So if you're taking on a contract, that's somewhere else that it's going to ask you to take it to. Excellent. Obviously, this is going to cost you 100 grand to buy. And it's going to be under the construction menu. 
and then production and then sell points and we'll scroll along oh no there it is 100 grand to buy drop it down jobs are good in excellent obviously you know if you're playing on certain maps that don't have any sell points especially the construction map you know that doesn't have sell points for quite a few things you drop one of these down and you're away no problem excellent right next up we've got the all buyable productions palette pack this is by tarxy 007 1.35 megabyte on the download and you're going to find it in the shop menu under objects and palettes so we've got bread palette boards butter cake canola oil cereals cheese chocolate cloves eggs fabric flour furniture palette nearly said fertilizer palette then furniture palette grape juice grape palette honey palette lettuce olive oil raisins strawberries sugar sunflower sunflower oil sorry tomatoes and then wool so you can buy these if you need to use this for anything that you've got going on it's like the wool palette you could then drop them down to the spinnery and you're away obviously the same like with the fabric or whatever raisins there you could drop them off to your cereal factory you have strawberries to your bakery for making cakes this is excellent obviously you know he's going to cost you rather than having to grow it in the ground but then the time saving element is brilliant absolutely brilliant excellent all right next up we've got the fort schritt hw80 this is by Eric FS, 8.73 megabyte on the download, and you're going to find it under trailers. So it's got 11,000 litre capacity and it weighs 3.8 tonne. So we've got real brands, you've got Lizard, Trelleborg, Michelin, and then back to Lizard. Then main colours, we'll change that to red, we'll change the main body of it. Design colour, going to change the top, and then rim colour obviously changes the rim. So we'll go with a purple and that looks terrible with that color scheme anyway we'll carry on so obviously you know it's going to take pretty much everything the game can throw at it from a crop perspective so that's always good you need a little trailer i mean again it's got that pivot axle on the front which i'm ridiculously bad at reversing that being said if you are okay with those that's a nice little trailer that is excellent Right, next up we've got the Joskin Drakkar Pack. This is by Alice Agre Ole, 16.04 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find these under trailers. So you've got these four here. So you've got the 6600, 7600, 8600 and 9600. So the 6600 has got a maximum of 29,500 litres. 7600 has got a maximum of 34,500 litres. 8600 maximum of 38 and a half and then the 9600 a maximum of 42 and a half thousand liters now obviously you can see the icon scroll along the bottom so it's gonna take pretty much everything in the game probably not grapes that just does seem to be the usual ones of these trailers not taking that sort of thing so we'll go into one all the options are the same on all of them so you got the configuration there standard or extension obviously that changes depending on which one you go for depends on what you get on your capacity and then the wheels and tires the usual shenanigans on the go with that and then you can change your license plate that's all right that is you know get one of these on the go carrying your crop around excellent Right, next up is the Lizard Road Scraper. This is by North Modding Company, 1.37 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find this under tools and miscellaneous. Now, I bought this from the shop and I thought it was a bit random, to be honest. To, so to get it to work, you need to have it attached to some sort of crane grapple. And it just seemed so difficult to maneuver and get going it it don't get me wrong right it could be me i'm not great with the logging side of anything so maneuvering with cranes is not my greatest achievement at all i will put that out there not a problem i just thought you know it's i don't know it's it just seems a bit random i mean 
According to the website, it says Lizard Road Scraper is a handy tool for your forwarder. Use the forwarder grapple to drag the Lizard Road Scraper behind to clear and clean the road. If you're going to do that, why not just use a normal plow? That's... I, I don't know. I don't know. D drop it in the comments below. Is it something that I'm missing? Because I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this. It just seems a bit random. Anyway, the options you got there are standard or road scraper plow that's your only options then you got the main color we'll change the color like that so change that to red change all the frame parts and then the design color we'll change that to a purple we'll change the front parts there obviously it's got a five meter working width so if you can actually figure out what it's supposed to do let me know because i don't understand what it does or what the point of it is anyway we'll move on Right, next up we got the Lizard PLT600. This is by Surfy Modding AM Modding, 5.80 megabot on the download. And you're gonna find this under bale loaders. So the options that you've got there are knock-in tires, trellerborg, and then back to knock-ins, and obviously there is no options other than that. So you can put a number plate on the back. Now, according to the website, this will hold up to 18 bales, but there's no auto load option for it. So if a trailer can hold whatever you put on top of it, if you take it easy around the corner, mind you, if it's too tall, you're really going to have a chance of rolling it over. But that being said, nice basic bale trailer for you. Excellent. Right, next up, we've got the WM185 mower. This is by AAA Modding, 3.79 megabot on the download. And you're going to find this under mowers. So, you're going to need 26 horsepower from your tractor and it's got a 1.9 meter working whip so obviously it attaches at the front there and it's going to be a side rear mower if you know what i mean the options you got there so you've got the wm185 so that's class and then the rk rk185 as well so that's got a it's more like the pottinger colors still saying class though okay Obviously, if you've got a small tractor, this could be very nice indeed. I mean, 26 horsepower, that's not a lot at all. Excellent. I mean, eight and a half grand to buy if you go in for the WM185. That's pretty cheap as well. Excellent. Right, next up, we've got the Lizard Short Timber Trailer. This is by Silver... I, I hope that's Silver. S-Y-L-V-3-R. Silver... Oh, again, I apologise if I've got that wrong. 0.67 megabyte on the download, and you're going to find this under forestry equipment. So we've got the options there of main colour. We'll change that to yellow. We'll change the base frame. Then design colour, we'll change that to a blue. Changes the support parts. And then rim colour, we'll put that as a purple so that's your options so obviously if you're doing a bit of logging and you've got some trees cut down you want to load it into one of these obviously the sidebars keep them all nicely together ah that's all right that is obviously foresty forestry is not my go-to thing but that's a nice looking trailer that is Right, next up is Logger. This is by Farm Sim Wilden FS Modding. 5.41 megabyte on the download. And you're also going to find this one under Forestry Equipment. So you've got the main colour option there. We'll change that to a yellow again. We'll change the main frame. And then the rim colour, any one of those. We've got the black wheels like that. Obviously, like the previous one, you're going to use this to cart your tree, log, whatever you want to call it around. This is a bit bigger. You're going to need your semi truck or your lorry whatever you want to call it to use this one but obviously if you've got big trees on the go you're going to need a big trailer so this one's all right i mean that's cheaper than the other one isn't it i mean that's 28 grand standard and that's 39 grand to start with so you might as well just go for the big one although you're going to need the lorry to go with it so hmm entirely up to you it hooks up to something We'll move on. Right, next up we've got the Galignani 9250 SL. This is by Pepe978. 7.38 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find this under balers. So you need 
90 horsepower from your tractor it's got a nine mile an hour working speed and according to the website it's got a two meter pickup two meter wide pickup and it will do 125 to 150 centimeter round bales so your options you've got there are wheel setup standard or wide tires and then you can change the rim colors so obviously this is a bit of a older looking one mind you that ah, looks all right we get some round bales on the go i mean 90 horsepower that is quite low on the old uh, tractor requirements so that's all right that is excellent right next up we've got the knees va pack this is by vertex design 7.3 megabyte on the download and you're going to find these under animal transport so we've got the va6 and the va8 so the va6 is going to do six cows 10 pigs and nine sheep and the va8 is going to do eight cows 12 pigs and 12 sheep so obviously we're going to the va6 there's no options it comes as it is so right, that is so you lower the back down put your animals in excellent and then if we go into the va8 so a little bit more expensive you can then change the tire brands if you want to on that although there's only two to choose from Obviously, you can change your license plate on both of them. Oh, they're all right, they are. You know, pick up your animals from the dealer rather than paying to have them transported to you. Oh, very nice indeed. All right, next up, we've got the John Deere 600FD and 700FD pack. This is by Agro Tonno, 31.01 megabyte on the download, and you're going to find these under headers. So these are your John Deere headers. We've got the... 630 fd there 9.1 meter working width got 635 with a 10.6 meter 640 a 12.2 and then 645 a 13.7 so if you go into them all the options are the same so you've got the standard design there or you can have the air bar on the front puts those spikes shall we say are they are air feeder pipes that's supposed to blow the dust out of the way that looks all right though and then you've got the john deere 645 fd or the 745 fd which just changes that part there though, doesn't it just puts like an end cap on it then you've got the main color we'll change that to pink because why not we'll change that bar there and then the design color we'll change that to purple we'll change those tines on the front And it only does the color change on the air bar that's interesting so the rest of the thing stays the same obviously the options are all the same on each of them obviously given the various whips that we got on the go but if you want to use one of these you got your john deere harvester on the go you want to keep it all john deere all right they are excellent right next up we got the john deere 4755 4955 this is by aaa modding 41 megabyte on the download and it's these four tractors here so you're going to find them under medium tractors so you've got the four seven 4755 us 4755 us two-wheel drive 4755 eu and then 4755 eu two-wheel drive so if we go into that one we'll go to the options so you've got configuration at the top so you've got standard and then a thousand kilo front weight and then back to standard so wheel brands you've got usual shenanigans on the go you've got beacons you've got standard or with beacons and attaches this is around the back to start with so you've got standard and then the k80 so that puts like a ball hitch on the back and then attach it at the front spin around again so that puts like a three point link on it and then you got the attacher with the front part and then that ball hitch on the back as well and then back to standard and we've got front loader attacher no or the 643r an engine set up 4755 so that gives you 190 horsepower or it'll go up to 4955 which give you 228 horsepower and then back to 47 4755 and change your license plate so obviously all the options are pretty similar on all of them if not very similar i mean obviously you've got the two-wheel drive and the four-wheel drive versions 
you go for whichever one you want to obviously the four wheel drive version is going to give you better traction in the mud that's all right that is obviously older style tractor you want to put that into your role play that could be very nice indeed i like that nicely detailed excellent right so the last one for today this is scooter this is by castan 18 1.20 megabyte on the download and you're going to find this under vehicles and miscellaneous so this is a little treat for you a little play thing so it starts off with 20 horsepower and it'll do 18 mile an hour you can then change that from e-scooter up to e-scooter tuned would we'll have 30 horsepower but still only do 18 mile an hour We'll change the main color you can have black white or chrome change the bottom part and have a little blip around obviously 1500 to buy is standard we've added what 300 to the price of it that's all right that is so i've got one here we'll start it up give it a bit of a toot and off we go scooting around your farm excellent obviously this is a little bit of a fun you're not going to get any work done in it mind you but what's life without a bit of fun oh nearly drove into me then that van right pull over get out the road so there you have it that's your mod for the day drop it in the comments below which is your favorite one which one you're thinking of using if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one